Hey everyone, it's Lori from Disabled Prepping and I am back. Now, I apologize for not posting um, videos lately, but I have been sick. Now that I'm feeling better, I have a product to um, go over with you. This is a brand new product to the market. It's been on the line for about three to four weeks. Now, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to review this as not a um, gardener because it is seeds, but I'm going to um, evaluate this as a prepper. Now, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want the company to understand that there is a difference between you know, just a gardener and a prepper. Now, um, the company I'm talking about is Survival Seed Company. You can find them on Amazon. You'll find the link down in my descriptions. Now, the product I'm talking about is their new 70 variety seeds. This is for fruit, herbs, and vegetables. Now, it comes in this little container. It's pla hard plastic. Um, it's cute, and I like it. The only thing I don't like about this is as a um, as somebody who is a prepper, you know, we've got these um, huge to-go bags. And if you have to bug out um, our to-go bag, our bug out bags, they are so full that we're going to have to find a bag to put this in to clip it to our to-go bag or our bug out bags. And that's one thing that disappointed me was it did not have its own bag. But it is in a very solid plastic container. It, um, it does the trick. And I do like it. You know, I just didn't like that it did not come with a bag that you can slip it into and use a carabiner to hook it to your bug out bag. But besides the point, uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Now, I handed this to my caregiver, and he opened it up, and he I started laughing because the first thing he does is, well, it doesn't smell. Yeah, it's not going to smell. And he's like, well, what's this? And I'm like, it's a lid. You pop this off. And this is what I like about this is because most people, they'll put the seeds in their hands and you got seeds falling off and your hands cramping because these seeds are just falling all over the place or they're in your hand and they're cr your hands cramping because you got it cupped. Well, that's what this is for. You put the seeds in here and you can just take the seeds out one at a time or a few at a time and you know, I like how this company uh, thinks about that, and I like this. Now, the company also puts in there uh, this little card. It's the Survive Seed Company, and um, it comes with this little card here, and it tells you everything that's in the card. It also tells you, and... Um, seed depth, plant uh, space, row space, um, germinate how many days, and mature days how many days, you know. I like how they did this because for those who are just beginning in uh, gardens and everything, this is a valuable, a very valuable um, piece of information and should be uh, treasured. Now they do have QR code links to it as well and I also like that. They also have uh, Water US with feedback or Water Us with feedback that for, uh, the QR link. Now inside <laughs> I like this because they actually alphabetize everything and you got little packets of seeds. The only thing I don't like about this is they don't have this, all the seeds that a, um, a prepper would want. 
Now we're we're going to go through all the seeds, and the company they can get a hold of me. They know my phone number. They know my um, how to get a hold of me, and I can let them know what um, seeds that are missing from it that preppers use, and um, hopefully they can make one for a prepper. Um, and there's other seeds such as. Um, wildflowers that uh, they can get seeds for and uh, wild plants that we use as municipals as well. And if they can put those three together into a triple thread, oh man, I'll tell you, they would have a gold mine on their hand. But we're gonna go through the little packs. And this one is zucchini. So, they do zucchini, and then we have another one, zucchini. This is dark green. The other one was green. Um, this one is watermelon, and this one is sugar baby. And this one is uh, watermelon, and this one is Charleston gray. This one is turnip, and it's white egg turnip and this one is uh sh show gain or whatever um yeah and this one is turnip purple top white globe this one is tomato and this one is uh you'll have to read the bottom one <laughs> yeah and this one is tomato, and this is Roma WF. This one is Swiss chard, uh, something giant. Um, now, there's some things I cannot pronounce. I do have a speech impairment called lazy tongue. And it's because I've got a small mouth, a high palate, and it's hard for me to um, take and pronounce some words. So please don't blame me if I can't pronounce some words. Uh, this one is squash. Uh, Whackham butternut, uh, I guess. Yeah. This one is squash and it's vegetable spaghetti. Oops. Sorry. This one is rutabaga. American purple top. Sorry, but, uh, yeah, I don't really go for rutabaga. Radish, uh, French breakfast. I don't know about these names here. Uh, radish, cherry bell. Um, let's see. Radish, champion. Uh, pumpkin, small sugar. Oh. And then we have pumpkin and something gild. Yeah, uh, what, marigold gild or something. Uh, pepper, sweet banana pepper. And pepper, and this is jalapeno, or whatever. And then we have Pepper California Wonder 300 TMR. And then we have P Sugar Snap. And we have P Little Marvel. And then we have Parsnip Hollow Crown. And we have Parsnip Harris Model. And parsley, try triple mass curled. Um, parsley, plain or single. I, like I said, I don't know about these names here. Parsley, dark green. Uh, what? I, I, yeah. Um, onion. I'm just going to read the top word. And this one is also onion. Onion. Uh, okra. 
okra, mustard, mustard. Do you know that uh, yellow mustard is actually good to put into your first aid kit? It um, Yellow mustard with tinfoil over your um, skin will help with a first and second degree burn. Uh, just a little TIY. Um, melon. And again, melon. And lettuce. Lettuce. Lettuce, more lettuce, more lettuce. So there's a lot of lettuce in here. Uh, lettuce, more lettuce. Oh, kale. That's a good one. And more kale. Um, eggplant, dill. More dill. Uh, cucumber, which is a good one. And more cucumber. And another cucumber. Uh, cress. I wonder if that's water nut cress. But this says cress and it says cure lead. Mm, don't know. Um, corn. And this is Golden Barton 12. So that's corn. And then you have um, collards and celery. We're getting there, guys. Like I said, they appetized it. Cauliflower, good one. Carrots and cabbage. Nice. One of my favorites. Uh, cabbage again. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I love these. Brussels sprouts. And these are non-GMOs, guys. So they will produce seeds as well. So um, my favorite, broccoli. I got a lot of favorites in here. Uh, broccoli again. Um, beets. Nah, they're okay. I really don't care for beets. Uh, another thing of beet. Another thing of beets. Oh, they're 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 good for um, you know sugars and stuff like that. Um, you got beans. And oh, those are uh, blue lake beans, and these are Cherokee black beans. And then you got basil. And last but not least, you have arugula. So there are the 70 seeds that come into this little thing. Okay, so based on the container. Now, like I said, um, I don't usually give 10 out of 10s because I leave room to grow. However, this company... Um, I would love to give a 10 out of 10 to this company. However, uh, well, for the, just the container alone, I give a 10 out of 10. However, I'm going to take it down to a 9 out of 10 because it does not come with a, uh, it, a bag. Because like I said, I am determining this on a prepper side, not a just a gardener, not just an average household. I'm determining all this on a prepper side. So I'm taking this down from a 10 to a nine because it did not come in a small bag that could be clipped onto the, um, the, um, oh, the bug out bag that we use. Um, as for, the little lid inside, I'm going to give a 10 out of 10 because not any seed company does this. And so I'm going to give a 10 out of 10 on this. As for the card that's inside that gives you uh, the length of time, you know, how, where to plant, how many plants, uh, the space and everything, um, this is this is gold. Uh, if I could give you anything higher than a 10, I would, but I'm going to give you a 10 on this. This is something that 
um, every prepper would actually cherish. And if, if they're like anything like me, they would laminate it and uh, they would store it where they can get to it easily. As for the seeds that are inside, um, I would have to give the company a between a seven and an eight. I would love to give you a 10. Um, I really would, Dave. I would love to give you a seven out of, um, or a 10 out of 10, but there are seeds in here that um, we probably won't use. And there are seeds in here we need. I mean, there's no wheat seeds. There's no strawberry seeds. There's um, other seeds in here that we, um, we would use. And um, yeah, so if you give me a call, uh, we can go over the seeds and everything and um, maybe you can make something for the, uh, the preppers and also make up one that has just seeds uh, for these edible plants and then another one where it's just seeds for municipal plants and then uh, do a uh, tag them all together for a triple threat and I'll tell you what you'll have a lot of preppers buying that triple threat from you because uh, municipal uh, plants and edible plants they are tagged with what we need for growing in our gardens um, especially if we can get them for bugging out is one of the best things that a prepper could have and no other company does that and you are on the right track overall between um the whole thing and the seeds and everything um because of the seeds and the bag i'm gonna have to give you an eight out of ten i would love to give you a 10 out of 10 dave but um i'm gonna have to give you an eight out of ten um I love it. I really do. But just a few tweaks and you'll have it um, for a prepper's perspective. Um, if you like this video, please uh, take and hit that like button and subscribe. Um, and as for my video, I guess I'm done for the day and I'm hoping to have more up soon. This is Lori with... Um, Disable prepping, saying that may the light guide protect and serve you well now and forever. And until next time, my peeps, yada, yada, man, yada.